They took off before the sun came up, their ranks setting a record for the San Francisco Marathon. <laughs> with a total of 27,500 runners across four different distance races. For the first time ever, their fleet feet had the Golden Gate Bridge all to themselves. Northbound traffic was shut down from 6 to 9 a.m. with only one southbound lane open. There have been recent tragic world events in which drivers have intentionally driven into crowds of pedestrians and done them harm. The bridge board of directors didn't want to see anything like that happen here at the Golden Gate Bridge. So they took this unprecedented preventive measure to close down the northbound lanes so that pedestrians, runners and vehicles wouldn't mix on the roadway. Runners say the extra space and peace of mind was nice, knowing as they hurtled into the mist, they could forget about cars and keep their mind on the race. Go take that bridge, you got it. They had plenty of sideline motivation to spur them on. <laughs> Drivers faced their own challenges, waiting for runners before the bridge reopened or rerouting around the 26.2 mile course, a course that was won by two Bay Area runners. Mill Valley's Jorge Maravilla finished in two hours, 28 minutes and 23 seconds. Stanford's Devin McMahon in two hours, 52 minutes and 49 seconds. I'm happy. I did not expect that at all. I'm just humbled and feel very fortunate to be wearing a bib amongst the many brave and uh, willing individuals who are wearing a bib today and enjoying the process and journey to reach this finish line. In the next couple of months, the Golden Gate Bridge District's Board of Directors will discuss for future marathons whether or not they're going to shut down all lanes of northbound traffic like they did this year. We'll keep you updated on what they decide. In San Francisco, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.